welcome back. This is Ballas Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm joined, as always, by my creeped out squad of Fred, Olive, and Sheska. When we last left off, we were in jail, but we kind of busted out of there thanks to an open door. Now we're following a trail of blood. Soap has already gone ahead. Let's continue after him. Up to Hojo's lab again. It looks like it leads up. I don't like the sound of this. Are you, are you going to come with me? You still can't get in random encounters here. Hopefully I don't, though. Hey, it looks like... Oh, so close. I was so close to making it out of here. But we should have new enemies. We do. These are... What are these guys called again? Zanines. And they have Piazzo showers. And we get to see... Mm. We also get to see a mist. Uh, we also get to see... Beat rush, though. Now, I said last video that all single targeting limit breaks are random as to who you can attack. I don't know why I said that. That just applies to Sheska and Sheska alone. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I was hesitant against using that in a random encounter like this, but I should be fine. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. If there's anybody's limit break that you should be saving. It is all of them, but her gauge goes up pretty damn fast at times, so I shouldn't have too much difficulty. Um, actually, I should probably be using more magic the, uh, in these fights, but I, I feel like I'm fine. And, oh, she got poisoned. We should be able to finish this guy off pretty soon here. Down he goes, so poison doesn't get anything done. Damn, Olive is not doing so well right now. Not that great, but we should be fine. Because we're going to make it up to floor number 69. And we're actually going to get to go out this time. I don't know exactly why, but now we have everything that we need. And we're going to move on there. Before I go up those stairs, though, I will be using this save point just to be safe. All healed and saved. And ready to follow the blood some more. Now here it doesn't matter if you go up the bloody stairs or not. You'll end up in the same spot. I always go the same way though. Let's follow the blood. Talking to those dead guys doesn't do anything for you. And here looks like the blood stops even on the stairs. Oh. Oh my. What happened here? Hey, you guys showed up. Nice to have you along. He's dead. The leader of Shinra Inc. is dead. Then this sword must be... Sephiroth's. Sephiroth is alive? Looks like it. Only Sephiroth can use that sword. Who cares who did it? This is the end of the Shinra now. Uh, whoa! Palmer out of nowhere! Get him! Nice stuff. P -p Please, don't kill me! What happened? Sephiroth! Sephiroth King! Did you see him? Did you see Sephiroth? Yeah, I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes. You really saw him? Uh, would I lie to you at a time like this? And I heard his voice, too. I see no reason why you wouldn't lie to us at a time like this. No, he was saying something about not letting us have the promised land. Then what? Does that mean that the Promised Land really exists and that Sephiroth's here to save it from the Shinra? So he's a good guy then? Save the Promised Land? A good guy? No way! It's not that simple. I know him. Sephiroth's mission is different. Damn it, you let him go. Rufus. Fuck, I forgot about him. Who's that? Vice President Rufus, the President's son. We didn't meet all the executives yet. Uh, now, you can talk to the people here. To be honest, I've never been sure whether or not they're talking about Sephiroth or Rufus. Because they don't really say, but we'll go through it anyway. I've heard that no one's ever seen him bleed or cry, because that could apply to either one, really. I heard that he's been assigned somewhere else for a long time. That's clearly about Rufus. I only know his name. That could go either way. 
wonder what kind of person he is. Once again, could go either way, so... I'm, I'm gonna assume that it's Rufus that they're talking about for the most part, but really a lot of that could apply to Sephiroth as well. What we need to do, though, because we can't do anything with the president, we could, like, inspect him or something, but no. We need to go out and try to talk to Rufus. Landing outside the plane, there he is. So, so Sephiroth was actually here, by the way. Who are you guys? I'm Fred, former soldier, first class. I'm from Avalanche. Same here. The flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. We sound deadly. That, that, what a crew. My thoughts exactly, like what the hell's going on? That's, that's how you introduce yourselves? It's not very menacing. Well, I'm Rufus, the president of Shinra Inc. You only president because your old man died. That's very sensitive of you, Tank. That's right. I'll let you hear my new appointment speech. Old man tried to control the world with money. Seems to have been working. The population thought that Shinra would protect them. Look at Shinra, get your pay. If the terrorist attacks the Shinra army, we'll help you. It looks perfect on the outside. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. It takes too much to do it like my old man. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste money on them. He likes to make speeches just like his father. Get out of this building, fellow. What? I'll explain later. Tank, this is the real crisis for the planet. The hell is that supposed to mean? I'll tell you later. Just take my word for it now. I'll go after I take care of him. Alright, Fred. Now leave me alone. It's time for a one-on-one -on -one battle. Later, because right now we're going to follow everybody else. We'll be back with Fred, though. Hopefully. Fred. I just thought of something. What? What is it? I'll wait for Fred. Everyone, get to the elevator! And now we have split into three different parties. And now we're gonna be just with these three people. Hmm. It's going to be pretty ugly from here on. We should check on our equipment. Remove Fred and Cheska's equipment. Yes, absolutely do that. They're, they will give you the mechanic to put it back in for Fred's fight, so yes, remove. Always, always remove. So let me set up this party the way that I would like. Unfortunately, I can't move a lot of the equipment around, but I can definitely move the material around. But in terms of equipment, I do have everybody in the background. I'm not sure if I've ever gone over to do that. It's order. And then you just double click on somebody. Uh, everybody is in the back row for this. I do have Olive equipped with the striking staff, the mithril armlet, and the star pendant. Tank is equipped with the assault gun and the mithril armlet. Soap is equipped with the mithril clip, carbon bangle, and talisman. In terms of materia, Olive is full. She's got lightning all, steel, restore, enemy skill, and sense. Enemy skill. I'm not honestly sure why I keep that on, just I think for posterity's sake, to make sure that every materia is equipped. Uh, Tank has the fire elemental on his gun, and he's got ice all on the armlet. Soap is equipped with fire, all, sense, poison, and cover. He has cover because he does have the highest amount of defense, and I do believe, yes, the most amount of HP right now. Uh, the reason that I do have the elemental on tank, will become quite apparent when we get into the fight, but just know that I do have that on him for now. It might actually be better to put lightning elemental on him, but I would rather have lightning be used as a, as a spell, you know, it's just me. Okay, so what we need to do is head down here and get into a fight. We don't need to do that, but that's what ended up happening. 
what we need to do is head into these elevators down here. Now, this is one of the hardest sequences in the game. Remember I said at the beginning that this game does have an early difficulty spike and then it pretty much gets easier from then on out. This is the spike starting now. You could argue that fight with Reno was tough, but this is really where it picks up if you ask me. This sequence for a little bit because on the elevator we do have boss time. We are up against a giant machine in another elevator. And this is the reason that I have Tank equipped with the Elemental, because he is the only one that can attack. Uh, this is a long-range enemy. The only ones that can attack it are long-range capable physical attackers, of which Tank is the only one in the party. Wait, Bio misses? Oh, that's right, because it's a mechanical thing. I knew that, I swear! Not for Bio, because it would be more powerful. I guess we're going to be going for fire, then. Finally, um, Tank does get the attack in. A little bit of fire damage. He's not particularly weak to fire. He's, of course, weak to bolt. But, uh, since I wanted to use that as a spell instead of using that as part of an attack, why am I doing that? Why am I doing that? Hidden artillery! That could be bad, but it's really just leveling up my limit breaks, which is not good, because limit breaks do not... aren't limited by range. That's the way I should have it, especially tanks. So feel free to keep on hitting tank, but it does not actually matter whether or not it's a long-range enemy uh, if everybody... Wow, what am I talking... If the limit break is short range, it doesn't matter. It will it'll just bug out and work. Let's go for a big shot. We could always use a big shot here. And Olive gets a turn, so she will be able to heal. Very nice. 172 damage. I will take that. And it looks like down it goes. Nope, we still got a little bit more. Just a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and heal. Just to be on the safe side, looks like he's starting to break down quite a bit, but it is always good to be healed. Nice. We're going to attack sensor cannon charging. This does not sound good at all, does it? Bolt after that, and that might do it. That might do it. The bolt is very powerful. Oh, 144. Nope, the sensor can is now charged. It is not dead. This is probably not good. But luckily we are already at full health. Man, this guy has more HP than what I remember. Uh, he can't steal from him. Just for the record. And down he goes. He also doesn't drop anything for the record. But once he is gone, he is just instantly replaced. And now we are in double boss time up against the Hella Gunner. I don't think I named the other guy. The other guy was called the Hundred Gunner. But this is the Heli Gunner. The other guy had like a hundred guns. I wonder how they named them. AB Cannon! Anybody but Soap. Because Soap is ready with his limit break should he get his turn in. Once again, just continue to cast Bolt. That is your best way of doing this. Uh, once again, Bio shouldn't hit. Oh, we finally get to see Sled Fang. Soaps. Limit Break. It has been, well, a little bit since we've had him in the party. We haven't seen it yet. Once again, that's normally short range, but because there's a Limit Break, it does not matter. And it will go against everything. It does a little bit of damage. You know, it does a fair amount. Nothing that devastating here, though. Uh, I know a lot of people struggle with this fight. A lot of that is because they're not prepared. Uh, you don't transfer the materia over as necessary. Uh, you don't think necessarily removing other people's equipment is going to help you out with their materia. But it really does. It really does. So I would always suggest that. 
We actually should be pretty close. There we go. Down goes the Hello Gunner. Once again, nothing to steal from him. He does have a drop, though. What happened to Soap's legs there? We get a substantial amount of experience for that. Tank has learned his second limit break there. That's called Mind Blow. We'll go over that when we get the chance. But now we switch immediately back to Fred. So let's remove the materia. And I'll re-equip him in the menu. 